Hi there, how's it going? Welcome. Fon here. Slightly sad because today is day seven of seven of Intro to Blues and Rock. So this is the last one. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed it. So just a couple more things to look at and a few little things to go over. Uh, the first thing I wanted to say was learn the rules and then you can break them. In other words, learn your scales, learn your riffs and then feel free to step outside them. Look for extra notes not in the scales that you like the sound of. Okay, so that's one thing. And then the other thing is, like we've talked a little bit about improvisation and composition, and that your mind should go first, not second. Not the fingers first, the mind goes first. But I just want to say as well, it's, you know, feel. It's, it's not all about being sort of clever and using your mind. Use your feel, use your heart to do your composition and your improvisation. Okay, so let's look at a couple of other things. Yesterday we looked at, in the key of E, you've got a B and a D here. And you can, you, you can do many different things, you know, like you could do something. Or. And at the B and D occur again up here. So over in E, you know, you could do something like either this, or something like this. I'm putting in a little E note there. Okay. Now then, staying in the key of E, we looked at, in the key of D, we looked here at the, I'm going to move from D up to E, and we looked at this a few days ago. 7, 10, 7, 9, 7, 9, 8, 10, here. So I just want to look at that again. In the key of E, we're in, you know, we started there for our minor pent here. Look, you can in interject it, transport against this. Okay, so that's a very powerful little technique. And again, you can do lots of things with it. A little note. This note that you're bending up to there on the 10th fret B string, you're going up to an A sharp. So that extra blue note, you're actually bending up to it. Hammer pulls up and resolving to an E. Staying in the key of E, so we, we've done that, we've done this. I wanted to show you a different sound. So these are all tricks at the moment in the KV. Look, here's a different sound. We've got a little set of harmony notes here, starting on an E and a, and a G sharp. But look, instead of doing this, uh, what is it, G sharp and B here, look. So that's still got a bluesy sound in E, but it's very different to, like, look at this. It's very different to... But they, they both work very nicely. I wanted to touch on another little thing. There's a thing called a unison bend. What it means is you're going from one note to another note that's the same as the second note you're playing. So in the case of this, 12th fret E, if I hold 15th fret B, B string, which is a D note, B, C, C sharp, D. If I bend this D note up, it becomes an E, listen. That's a unison bend. Okay. And just before we move on to the next little thing, I wanted to show you, like, I cannot overemphasize how important bending and it's near relative vibrato are. That little bit of vibrato combining with and um, bending and vibrato together is just so important. Oh, up bend, down bend. Okay. Another little thing I wanted to touch on today is, you know, I've mainly been using my plectrum. If you wanted to finger pick, 
let's say in the key of A, moving to A now, you use your thumb to pluck your bass notes occasionally, and then you do a little improv. I'm just going to do one quick 12 bar blues off the top of my head in the key of A. There's a little idea of, you know, just plucking through uh, thumb notes, 12 bar blues and A, A notes, D notes, E notes. If you were doing that trick in the key of E, at the end, when you do the end section, B to A to E to B, you'd have to come up to a B note somehow. Another little riff that I wanted to just look at very briefly was, um, and this is a touch more rocky than bluesy really, here if you're in the key of E, um, a set of hammer pulls here on the 12th and 15th frets. Hammer pull, D note. And the same works actually very nicely, also in the key of E, up here on the B and G string. Okay, so I hope you've learned something out of this little course. I've very much enjoyed it. Um, and to finish after this vid, I'm going to share with you myself doing uh, Sweet Home Chicago in the key of E. Uh, and I just want to finish with a tiny little story. About 10 years ago, I was teaching a fella, who shall remain nameless, and he'd come to see a gig of mine the night before in Dublin. And the next day, he came to me and he said, that was a fantastic solo you did at the very start, just when I came in. Please show me how to do it. I had to say to him, sorry, mate, I'd love to, but I can't. And why? Because it was improvised off the top of my head that's the beauty of improvisation is that it's 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 a moment that happens at that time you know so i said to him all the tricks i've been showing you in the previous months in other words all the minor pentatonics and blues scales in e all the riffs tricks tremolos bends vibratos in e i just stuck them together so he was quite disappointed that i couldn't show him but you know the point is if you just keep practicing they're the ingredients that you need to mix together yourself. Have your mental riff library, have your scales, look for what you like, and don't be afraid to, once you've learned the rules, you can break the rules, step out of the scales occasionally. Um, so look, I think I'll leave it at that. Um, I'll probably do some other courses soon, maybe a little look at uh, flamenco and minor and major key improvisation, etc. But uh, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoy uh, Sweet Home Chicago. Uh, all the best. God bless. Bye.